This level has the biggest shortcut I've ever found in one of Alpharad's levels, and this level has no ground and I have to do fancy tricks to not fall in the abyss. There'll be both levels in this video. So there are multiple big shortcuts I found in Alpharad's level, and I don't think anyone else has found this first one. What you're supposed to do is activate this block so you can hit the P-switch, jump up here, get a spring from this launcher, jump on this Piranha Creeper's head, and then do Alpharad's favorite jump. This is my favorite jump I've ever made. Oh, that but I was able to skip all of that. By doing three precise inputs within a split second, I get this glitched super jump that gives me just enough height to hit the P-switch immediately. And here, there's just enough room to fit under the spikes and skip his favorite jump. Now, there's a way larger shortcut coming up that was probably also found by other players and saves about 90 seconds. And for such a massive shortcut, it's surprisingly simple. After the first checkpoint, there's this door that leads to the final section that has one more trick, but you need a key to enter it. And this is the intended route to get the key. Get pushed by these twisters that force you upwards, finish a boss fight, damage boost past the spikes, solve a puzzle so a thwomp breaks some blocks, use the builder power up to build a bridge over the spikes, and finally get the key from this enemy me to bring all the way back to the door that leads to the final section. Instead, you can actually just run through these twisters and save 90 seconds. So I get the key early, grab a bob to activate this block so I can enter the pipe, and enter the key door to the final shortcut that's very precise and hard to pull off. You're supposed to take this shell and throw it into the gap to break the block, go into a door, and jump to the end but you can precisely land on this edge with it and break this block to the goal. And with all those shortcuts, I took the previous world record of 51 seconds down to 36. So this next level is ridiculous and Mario can't fall in the abyss. I jump off this guy to collect a red coin, and I line myself up with this shell and then this one so I can enter the pipe. Now, I can bounce off this one twice in midair both here and here to make it over the spikes, and I stall in the air so that this bully enemy launches me into this shell. I ground pound the pow to break the blocks and set up for this jump into the pipe, and I bump this shell and grab a mushroom so I can break these blocks. The dash panel lets Mario speed up to the shell, and I can dash again into this shell leading to the final trick. This shell is perfectly positioned so that when I kick it, I also jump off of it, and I can meet it up here for a shell jump to break the block, and I enter the pipe. Now, whenever I achieve something like getting the world record on Alpharad's level, I like to celebrate by putting something that symbolizes my achievement on my wall. Since I skipped Alpharad's favorite jump, instead of him being Alpha Rad, I made him Alpha Sad, so I put Alpha Sad on my wall. <laughs> 